Stone Mountain, Georgia is full of attractions for the kids, like the new geyser tower, multiple levels of suspended rope bridges and net tunnels, all connected to platforms overlooking a gushing geyser. But I had come to see the great carving on the face of the giant granite dome. Measuring 190 feet wide by 90 feet tall, it is the largest high-relief sculpture in the world, surpassing even 60-foot high Mount Rushmore. I started with a ride on the train that circles the granite dome known as Stone Mountain. Once I knew the lay of the land, I headed up the trail to the top of the dome. The smooth, slick rock led into a pine forest where I picked my way over giant boulders. When the trees ended, the climbing really began, with one section so steep that even handrails were needed. In the background, you see the Atlantis skyline. This is about 3,000 feet high. On the face of it, uh, they've carved the Confederate Memorial, which has the faces of Jefferson, Davis, and Lee. I'm actually standing right above the carving, but I'm almost at the top. After battling the heavy winds at the top for a while, I relented and took the cable car down. After a bird's eye view of the carving, I made my way back to the main lawn and got ready for the night's laser light show, which is projected against the mountain, followed by spectacular fireworks. about my perpetual world travels, visit my blog, holeinthedonut.com.